Another week of May is ahead of us and overall we're seeing that this week is going to come with some active qualities but nothing that is expected to be significant and there will be some drier days in the mix. Now our biggest impact that we're seeing this week is a cold front passage that is taking hold here from our Tuesday into our Wednesday. As it passes on by it's going to continue to bring us some scattered activity may even see some still isolated rumbles of thunder as well as leave us with a little bit of a dip in the temperatures into Wednesday before we will see Thursday and Friday some drier and brighter conditions that will even take us into the weekend as we are looking a bit more settled as we step into this third weekend of May. Now our last weekend of May was still gorgeous. Lots of sunshine that afternoon thunder risks. That's again what we had around for our Monday and will be in place here for our Tuesday. But what we start to see here into our Tuesday, we start off the day with some sunshine. Still watch temperatures head into those 60s, but we can see that wind flow does stay a little stronger with that northwesterly potential. A little gusty at times, no high wind concerns, but still looking at at least some 25 to even some up to 30 mile per hour gusts there out of the northwest as that cold front starts to usher its way across much of the Cowboy State. Along that frontal system, there is going to be some scattered shower activity, a little bit more widespread than what we've been dealing with. Still more of that scattered activity. You can see a bit more consistency to ourselves, a little bit more to our north. We're in that middle ground of watching that frontal system move in. Wednesday shows some dry capabilities there to start the day, but again, we'll grow into some afternoon shower chances as that low pressure system pulls its way out. But overall, it's not a drenching system. We're looking at a lot of the accumulation to hold to about a quarter of an inch, especially those along I-25 and I-80 there into Wyoming. As we move into the Nebraska Panhandle, a little bit drier air conditions at the surface will limit a lot of that thunderstorm activity. So maybe some spotty shower activity in place, but nothing again that's going to be drenching, which we have had some pretty drier conditions here across the area. We've had these chances, but they've stayed very spotty. So we're going to have to keep an eye on drought conditions, especially with some uh, fire concerns this weekend with some increasing winds. So we'll be watching that threat. So we want to get some moisture in those soils, and we have some chances here the next two days. We'll stay with more seasonal temperatures, if not more a little late summer-like, as we have those mid-70s across the Nebraska Panhandle, mid to upper 60s there along I-25, low 60s there along I-80 off towards the west. Into Wednesday, everyone's going to be a touch cooler a few degrees below what's average. Average is about 64. We're in the 50s into Cheyenne, 60s there to Scotts Bluff to 60 into Douglas. So again, trending cooler with more chances for some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. But the good news is that as we return to some sunshine into our Thursday, we're right back to some warming potentials potential back slightly above normal both for Thursday and Friday with those mostly sunny skies. We'll stay generally sunny into the weekend, but we may have to talk about returning maybe some of those small afternoon thunderstorm chances.